Today I'm going to go in depth with the newly reformed Eververse for the Season of Opulence and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today, we are going to take a little look at the newly reformed Eververse for the Season of Opulence. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of June 2019, then all you gotta do is sub to the channel and turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos that you want to see on the channel. So a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So let's go ahead and find out what this new Eververse actually entails. Also, in July 2019, I will be doing a new giveaway for Destiny 2 Shadow Keep, so definitely go ahead and stay tuned for that. So, we are here at the Eververse with Tess Everest. Now, I will say, at first glance, this thing looks overwhelming. You have so much stuff to look at, and we're going to go ahead and get into a lot of it. So, starting off, we have all the featured items. This is all the weekly offerings. You can actually go ahead and uh, check through the scrolls to go through them. But for the weekly offerings, we have the uh, Savage Salute. Gonna have preview that. I don't even know if I said that correctly, but it's okay. Then we have the uh, Ferocious, which is an ornament for the uh, Taraboth. Or, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> the uh, Tarabah, I guess. Then we have a ship, uh, Bayless uh, Aerodyne. That actually looks like a pretty cool ship. Coming down here, we have the Calypso which is a speeder, sparrow, whatever you want to call it. Then we have Imperial Beast Projection. All it is is just a little flaming beast. And then we also have your Engrams. So this is the new Engram uh, for the Season of Opulence. It's best of year one Engram. So let's go ahead and preview this. And this is literally all year one stuff. And I'm not entirely sure if uh, <laughs> this is actually worth it, even looking at it. Um, let's go ahead and look at the ornaments real quick. So yeah, this is literally 100% all year one stuff. So if you didn't get it in year one, you have a chance to get it now, I guess. Um, Let's see, uh, emotes, popcorn, home run, curtain call, selfie, spicy ramen, salty. Yeah, this literally is all year one stuff. Now, one thing to notice that Bungie did update when it came to the season of opulence is shaders. As you can see now, shaders are a little bit different colored than their matte look prior to the Season of Opulence, but a lot of them also have textures as well. Now, if you guys ever played Anthem, it pretty much... Sorry, but this layout literally... Whoops. This layout literally was like taken out of the Anthem book. You can agree with me, disagree with me all you want, but that's literally all it was done all of this requires silver so yeah we'll we'll talk about that in just a second coming down here for the bright dust we have your fire team medallion your gleaming boon of the vanguard your gleaming boon of the crucible the royal welcome shader and let's go ahead and take a look at this new season of opulence uh, shaders come with a cup yes it's a cup I don't care what you call it, it's a cop. This shit actually looks pretty badass. Then we have the uh, Quick Hug. Damn. That, that was a, uh, let me hug you with my asshole out type of hug. 
not really one of those hugs you want to give somebody. Uh, vanishing point. As well as the city apex. Coming down here, we have the seasonal rewards. Uh, you can get the opulent starter, which cost 800 silver. Then we also have these gear sets for each character. This is the intrepid set for the hunter. It's what it looks like. Looks pretty badass. Kind of a little uh, Indiana Jones vibe with your uh, Manny pack and uh, <laughs> the whip. And this is the intre uh, Intrepid Pack for the Titan. Eh. Looks pretty cool, I guess. You get some big-ass boots. No. Could have done better on the helmet, though. And then this is the same pack for the Warlock. I am not a fan of that helmet. Like, at all. Uh, not at all. I don't like the helmet. Then we also have uh, ornaments. So we have the Queen Cobra. And this is for the Ephidian Sapeth. Uh, exotic. And I actually like that. That's a very interesting ornament. Coming down here, we have the Blue Steel ornament for the Shards of Galanor. And instead of the shards looking all destroyed, it actually looks like they're together. I've been using this, well, shards at least, um, inside of one of the new events, or new activities, sorry, uh, inside uh, the Season of Opulence, and Shards of Galenor isn't that bad. And then we have the Flex Enhanced Replicant for the Synthoseps. And it pretty much just makes your synthoseps all sevified. And then we also have the uh, Geon for the Titan. And this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. Uh, hmm. And that is the ornament for the One-Eyed Mask. Interesting. I'm not even going to say that, but this is the ornament for the Ophidian aspect, and first glance at it, it pretty much takes the Cobras out of the uh, uh, the gauntlet and actually gives them um, Rattlesnakes instead. Still cool, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it does. And then the Electromag Stabilizers. And these are also for the Warlock, and this is for the Geomag Stabilizers. Real quick, let me come up here, just double check, nope, okay. So, coming back down here, then we have all these wonderful ornaments for these weapons, and you literally can buy all of these with silver. And we have new emotes. We have uh, Giddy Laugh. Then we have But You. And I literally think he does that the entire time and it won't stop. Then we have You Go Ahead. This is like a D Spikes things after he dies. And then we have the uh, timeout. I'm pretty sure if we were in comp, if D Spikes can do that and it actually worked, he would. 
So, we've already seen the Imperial Beast projection. This is the Chalice projection. Then we have the Crown of Sorrow projection. As well as the Emperor Chalice projection. I actually like that one. That looks pretty cool. As well as the Daring Hat projection. It's a hat. I, I, yeah. And the Imperial Axis projection. Oh wait, there's more. We got dropship projection. Beast Paw projection. Treasure chest projection. Uh, Salakot projection. It's another hat. As well as the treasure map projection. Coming down here for the transmat effects, we have the Dark Blade effects, the Eldritch effects. That actually looked pretty cool. I like that. The Minotaur effects, Loot Chest effects, and the Tiger effects. I like that one too. And that's everything for the seasonal offerings. Now, coming down to the archive, this is literally everything, if I'm correct, that they sold last season as a ornament, emote, um, or like a little package. So we have the package for, well, the two packages for the wonderful uh, Outbreak Perfected, Yes, I totally forgot the name. Sorry, I'm only human. Then we got the uh, two for the Thunderlord. The two for that wonderful, <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> Whisper of the Worm. And then we got an ornament for the last word. And then these three um, emotes. And last but not least, we have your Bright Dust stuff for the week. And as you can see, it does come down on a timer. Four days, four hours, all that wonderful stuff as of this video. We have the uh, Mirror Mirror emote. Then we have the Mother Load uh, speeder or vehicle. This looks really ugly. <laughs> then we have a uh, helmet for the Intrepid stuff. This is for the Warlock. Electromag Stabilizers. The Defenseless to be Armed Ornament for the Mini... Oh, I'm sorry, for the Callus Mini Tool. Then we have the ornament for uh, the Ace of Spades. Wasn't this like an exclusive? Hmm, pretty interesting. And then we also have your Crown of Sorrow projection with the uh, wonderful Fight to Medallion, your two boons, and the Amethyst Veil shader. And I will admit this thing looks pretty badass. It's another dark shader and I mean, you can't go wrong with Dark Shaders because we all want them. Then we got your Dark Blade effects, Metro Shift Shader, and that's pretty old. And then a Ghost White, as well as your weekly bounties. I haven't picked it up yet. So, all in all, it really comes down to whether you want to actually spend your own hard-earned money on this stuff with silver and by golly there's a lot of stuff in seasonal offerings at least to be buying with silver now I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff will be giving to us in the uh, bright dust uh, section for the week but that still does not 
throw out the fact that there are tons and tons of stuff that we may want that require silver. Now that, uh, what is it? Um, <laughs> now that that wonderful partnership with Bungie is all over, it, it's like, mmm, mmm. Was it really them who wanted, you know, all this silver stuff for more money? Or was it more so Bungie? So, was it Activision or was it Bungie? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff asking for a lot of silver. Ugh. I mean, yes, you can wait for the Bright Dust to come. Um, the Bright Dust uh, section and it to show up here and get it through Bright Dust. Yes. But this is more for those people who can't wait and want it then. I'm not going to lie. I had leftover silver. I love the Shards of Galnor. I bought this. Just saying. You know. Um, probably not going to buy anything else with silver until the uh, Destiny 2 Shadow Keep comes out in September later on this year. And I will be doing a video on that. Uh, but <laughs> that's a lot of silver they're asking for. Like, a lot. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think about this newly reformed system for the Eververse? You heard my opinion. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Like I did say before, it does look like the Anthem system where they just throw a whole bunch of stuff at you and say, hey, go ahead and buy it. Um, I do like the fact that the shaders have changed and it actually, you know, has like textures on them now and... Like I said, that's kind of like Anthem, but they're like static textures, so you can't really change the textures um, like you can in Anthem. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to um, sign up for that contest for June 2019, definitely, and as well as do the July 2019 um, giveaway, which will be for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Definitely go ahead and stay tuned for those and I will be doing more videos for the season of opulence because I am actually excited about a lot of things in this new season So definitely stay tuned and that my friends bridges to the end of the video If you enjoyed this video feel free to watch these videos as well You never know you just might like them and if you do leave a like share them and then come back for more Because you know you want to thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and I will see you guys next time